हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज योर नेटर रवि गुप्ता इन टुडे टॉपिक वी गॉन टॉक अबाउट सिक्वेंशियल टर्बो चार्जिंग वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग टर्बो चार्जर डेवलपमेंट इन आवर अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाइब्रिड टाइप टर्बो चार्जर इलेक्ट्रो एसिस टर्बो चार्जर एंड वेबल टर्बाइन एरिया टाइप टर्बो चार्जर This is the part four in which we are going to talk about sequential type turbo charging. So, if you want to know more about anything particular video, you can tell me and we can make the video regarding that. Those who are new to this channel, Marine Engineering Hub is a channel in which we make marine engine regarding video from basic to the advanced level. Which will be beneficial not only for your interview but also for the exam. Okay, so let's start the today video of sequential turbo charging. In sequential turbo charging, the first thing is that why the name sequential. So sequential means what? It is happening in a sequence. Means it is following a sequence. Means first, first this will happen. After that, this will happen. It will happen in a particular sequence. So what is happening? Let's see this first design. So this is the exhaust manifold, and this is the exhaust pipe, and this is the intake pipe, and this is the intercooler. Okay, here you can see two turbochargers. What is happening? The exhaust pipe is divided into two parts. This is the small turbocharger, and this is the big turbocharger, and this is the small compressor, and this is the big compressor. The intake of the compressor for both small and big is same, and the outtake of the exhaust of both big and small is also same. And what is happening? The air is coming from here, and now here, intercooler, intake, and main engine. Like same way, from here, intake, here, and main engine. Same way, we can talk about the exhaust so this is the layout diagram now here you can see this valve are there these are the main control valve now how it work let see so what is happening basically there is a in this system a small turbo is used when the engine is running at a low rpm so when the engine is running at a low rpm is basically when the main engine have just started and is running at a lower rpm in that case the small turbocharger will be used but when it is running at a higher rpm and there is a larger flow of exhaust gas then higher turbocharger will be used this concept is clear i hope till the here it is clear when the speed is low to medium only small turbocharger will be used but when it is Slowly, slowly, from low to medium, it is now going to the higher range. In that case, the big will come into picture. The sequence is that means when the engine is started and engine is running at low RPM, that from here this valve and this valve will be actuated, and the exhaust gas will flow and it will compress the air, and that air will be sufficient enough for efficient combustion. Now the engine is picking up the RPM. As the RPM will pick up, the more exhaust will flow. Now this cannot be handled only singly handed by this turbocharger. So what will happen? This turbocharger, this valve will open, and this from here it go to this turbocharger and will rotate the big compressor, and the compressed air will be produced for the combustion purpose. Now when the engine has come up to its full operation, at that time this turbocharger will come into full picture. And this valve and this valve will shut down. But when the engine at lower RPM to medium RPM, this valve and this valve was shut down. So the sequence from changing from low to medium using this small turbocharger, from medium to high using big turbocharger. The sequence of changing is called sequential turbocharging. Okay. So what is happening during the period? All engine exhaust energy directed to the primary turbocharger. 
you can see the small one as a prime turbo charger only providing a small turbo benefit of a lower boost threshold minimum turbo lag and increased power output at a lower engine speed now here is a very important concept of turbo lag what is turbo lag means basically turbo lag is means that sufficient amount of exhaust gas that is required to turn the turbine to a sufficient rpm that will produce the amount of compressed air required for combustion so that turbo lag which is there for this big turbocharger but suppose this turbocharger is not there and engine is running at a low rpm so the turbo lag will be more it means that more amount of exhaust gas is required for rotating this compressed air to a sufficient rpm for producing the compressed air that is required for combustion but the turbo lag for a small turbocharger will be very less as the turbine area is less so the small turbo lag will be there and hence it will be sufficient enough for the compression so that is the idea of turbo lag as rpm increase the second turbocharger is partially activated in order to pre-spool prior to full utilization once a preset engine speed or boost pressure is attained valve controlling compression and turbine flow the secondary turbocharger open completely so this is how this thing works so in a synopsis if anybody asks you what do you mean by sequential turbocharging you should say sequential turbocharging in the method in which the small turbocharger and big turbocharger are there and they are operated in a way in such a way that from low to medium rpm the small turbocharger will only function and from medium to high the big turbocharger will function the sequence in which they change from small to the high turbocharger that is called sequential turbocharging that is happening because the exhaust flow is increasing slowly slowly as the engine is picking up rpm and that cannot be handled only by the small turbocharger and therefore it need to make indulge the big turbocharger also and now when the engine has picked up the rpm fully at that time the smaller turbocharger can be cut out for the operation or both can also be done in the parallel so this is how this sequential turbocharging works i hope this idea is clear if you still got doubt please do comment below and please 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 do share please do subscribe and please hit the like button we are making this video with a lot of encouragement we need from you so please friend encourage us by subscribing by sharing and by having a good day and please share your story of success in our platform so that we get encouraged that you are getting also something from us. Thank you friend.